This video is presented by VoiceOver Article. My credit repair tips are simple yet they provide ways to help you repair your credit without having to give up your lifestyle. Before I offer you my credit repair information though, I must tell you that not knowing your current debt situation, this solution may not work for everyone. I'm not a professional credit counselor or financial advisor, so by saying this, I wish that you take my tips as a stepping stone, however, please make sure you research and get all the facts before attempting any of my ideas. I highly recommend that you contact your local credit bureau, and have them provide you a history of your credit reports. By contacting Equifax, which is one of the report bureaus that will have your information, they will give you a good understanding where you stand if you know you have credit problems. Depending on how good or bad your credit reports indicate will be the stepping stone to your debt recovery process. Now I will provide you more information on how to repair your credit score another time, because this article is more for the person searching to reduce their credit debt. I will provide you ways to maintain your current lifestyle without having to give up the things you want, and that word is the key to controlling your debt. Purchase what you need, and negotiate the things you want. When you understand the major difference between needing and wanting something, you will be on your way to a debt-free life. The reason so many Americans, and people worldwide, are in such financial debt is because they purchase too many items that they want, and not enough of what they need. Combine the two and you have a financial tornado that never stops spinning. I consider items that fall under the need category such as food, shelter, and clothing. You may come up with a different list. But the important message here is that you have to understand which are the basic necessities that you can't live without before you can improve your credit. A good example is purchasing a vehicle, which seems to be a large contributor for many that get into financial trouble quickly. You have to look at this purchase and ask yourself if you really need a vehicle. Many of you will probably say yes because having to admit that a car or truck for most of you is a want and not a need, and to answer this question, you simply have to realize whether it really supports your transportation goals. Go back and ask the question in the terms of transportation needs. Do you really need a vehicle to get from point A to point B, or do you only want a car or truck for the convenience it provides you? Compare the monthly lease or finance payments, maintenance, and gas expenses versus bus transportation, and using a taxi cab service for emergency and last-minute situations. Do the math and see which solution will save you money each month, and focus on achieving that goal to savings. It's a loaded question and solution. But if you answered truthfully and realistically, it can save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars each year. You will have more equity in your pocket for all the other things that you need, and when you control your personal expenses, the savings turn into equity that you can reward yourself with from time to time. If you still don't agree with me on the transportation example, that's okay because I only wanted to use that as an example of how our minds have a hard time differentiating the need and want concept. I'm going to offer you tips that you may not have exercised in the past, and these simple tips could easily save you money. Many of you might be borderline in debt, and are slowly increasing your chance of becoming a creditor's nightmare, however. Even though you may be aware of your financial situation, you just can't stop the shopping itch for all the latest trendy items that you don't need, but want. Follow my repair tip strategies, and you don't have to compromise your lifestyle.
Each credit repair tip that I offer you is in no way guaranteed, and I highly recommend that you do all the research possible to make it work for you. Not understanding the consequences will only get you deeper into debt, and that's not my intention. Many items that you buy that fall under the want category, which normally have what I call an enjoyment cycle. What I mean by this is that when you make the purchase, how long does it take for you to lose the enjoyment of that item, and how long does it take for it to finally end up in the back of your closet or the corner of your garage? Let's say on average it takes only one month for the appeal of the item wears off, and if you agree with me, I can offer you some great tips that can work where you can actually enjoy the trendy items, but save tons of money in the process. These tips will take a bit of research and networking, but if you have the motivation to repair your debt and enjoy your favorite products at the same time, this will be worth the effort. Tip number one, research as many of your popular shopping venues that offer 30-day no-question return policies, or have a deferral program that allows you to test the products with no financial obligation. Keep in mind that you must make sure that you know exactly what their policies allow, so you don't get stuck with the product you may not want to keep. Having a period of time to try the items at no cost to you is an advantage to you, and prior to the 30 days or longer is completed, ask yourself the important question, do you need it, or did you only want it because of all the hype it gave you? This is your opportunity to see if it is something you will use for a long time, or will be another dust collector. If you send it back, you get a credit back on your card, and voila, you gave yourself an opportunity to get the want feeling out of your system, and really find out if you needed it or not. Tip number two. There are so many retail and online stores that offer monthly specials such as a two-for-one deal. With your savvy and creative mind, compile a list of all your favorite shops that provide these monthly specials of your desired items, and find out on average how many of your closest friends and family members purchase from these shops. You can provide a shopping service for them as a convenience. Tell them that you expect nothing in return other than the second item that is offered for free. This tip is a little more work, but once you establish your services, they will become invaluable and rewarding for you and your recipients. First, start with your friends and family, because they will be understanding with your current financial situation and will support you on your venture. From there you can let the word of mouth expand your service. And who knows, you may develop this service into a little business that may turn your life around in a positive direction. Tip number three, if you have friends, family members, or associates that don't own a credit card, but want to experience the savings of many items offered online, or discounts that are only given to certain credit card purchases. Let these people know that you can help them save money by using your card. This is very important to remember. Do not under any circumstances use your card without receiving payment up front. You will get further into financial trouble if you don't establish rules in your service, and always ask for payment prior to any charges. If done properly, you will be able to accumulate a great number of points for free items, and in the process you will be helping many of your recipients get their favorite items at a reduced cost, plus any perks that go with using a credit card online or in their select retail store. These are just a couple of tips that I can offer that may be a solution to helping you pay down your credit debt while taking advantage of all the free services to test and enjoy items at no cost to you. Do your homework, and when you implement these programs successfully, you will achieve in enjoying your want items, and use your extra equity to pay down your bills.
However, if you feel that you're beyond credit repair on your own and you need to find repair information from professional sources, I recommend that you read my article on credit repair companies, by clicking on the link in my author bio below, and see if they can provide you necessary strategies and repair steps to get you back on track. This video is presented by Voice Over Article